I've just moved to Hanoi and as well as newcomers I had to do certain things and one of them was to find an apartment. I had a few criteria. It should be nice, has a real bedroom, to be not higher than on the third floor, or the building should have an elevator. AC in each room should be in the chosen district, the owner should have pads, and locks on doors and windows as my cat can open most of them, no cleaning service, and it should be not more than 150 bucks. Quite a list, yeah? So I spent about half a day on chatting with different agents from Facebook and eventually I found the one who showed me 4K apartments the very same day. At the end of the video I'll tell you which one I chose. So let's begin. Number one is a two-bedroom apartment on the second floor. Looks nice, but a bit musty. Both of the bedrooms didn't have windows, so there was no natural light. I was a bit terrified when I saw leather sofas in the living room because my cat really loved to scratch them in China. The bathroom was clean. Overall, it was a nice apartment. Number two is a one-bedroom apartment in a really nice, quiet, authentic, expat-free environment with very narrow streets and nice architecture. The apartment feels a bit small, especially the bedroom, but it has the sofa that I really like and a kitchen utensils as well as washing machine. There is an elevator in the building, so the seventh floor isn't a problem at all. And as a bonus, there is also access to the rooftop patio with a nice view. So number three is a spacious one-bedroom apartment on the second floor of the colonial-style building with an L-shaped sofa and two aces. I fell in love with the floor and the sofa. However, there were some gaps between the doors and the floor and sound isolation wasn't good at all. The bathroom was huge and it had a bathtub, a very big plus of the china. But there was no private washing machine, only shared one on the sixth floor without elevator. And finally, number four. It was a bit tricky to find the way in the dusk, but there is a lot of space for the motorbikes and the elevator with your own key to get to the fourth floor. Yeah, a key to the elevator because you step out of it straight into the apartment. It was gorgeous. Spacious bedroom, new furniture, spotless bathroom. It was just perfect. So how do you think, which apartment did I choose? The right answer is number three. It has everything I ever wanted. So number four was also good and great, but I was a bit scared about the elevator that my cat can easily get trapped there and it was a little bit dangerous and I vote for a safe option. So what I want to say with this video, don't be afraid of telling all of your requirements to the real estate agent and maybe you'll be as lucky as I am and you would find your home in one day only. Thank you for watching, have a good day, bye bye. Thank you.